all right so welcome to another tier list for guild wars 2 this is the cosmetic infusions uh tier list for guild wars 2 we're gonna rank all the infusions that we have in the game right now and uh, we'll see where they rank from s to d tier um there's no f tier it's just a d tier right i actually you know funny enough i don't know if there's something that might be an f tier but either way here's my categories for ranking everything in this list we're gonna rank it based on prestige right as simple as is right some of them are more prestigious than others to get and have a more sense of uh, uh you know excitement in the community when someone does have them we'll rank them on as well how the infusion is alone and how it looks alone and then the third category we're going to go with is how well does the infusion mesh well with other infusions if you were to like maybe combine them and, and make something of a look between them for your fashion wars content so that will be the three categories i am ranking this list here so uh yeah let's get to it we got 30 to go with um let's see where we rank them all right first one i believe the best one to start with would be the very first one that we've ever gotten in the game the ghostly infusion ghostly infusion where would we rank the first of many infusions to come of course you can only get this from i believe gorse of all is the boss that drops this in raid wing one see now if, if you're going based on let's see popularity it's you, you your prestige sorry prestige it's not obviously prestigious because like it's very easy to get they they barely make up 100 gold um but the infusion itself and if you combine it with other infusions could mix for some very interesting uh, looks in my opinion i don't think it's that bad that it would warrant being in the d tier but i think it's actually a not bad enough infusion because it's easy to get even though it's, it doesn't have that much prestige but because of the fact that it's in general i think it, it can mesh well with other infusions depending like if you want to use this with the frost legion if you want to use this with like a um a mystic infusion it meshes as well very good um i think because of that it makes it easier to like work around and as well the snow diamond infusion too so there's already a few infusions that like it kind of works well with so i think it, it probably puts it a good b tier you know while it's not prestigious it's actually very easy to combine with a few other infusions very well right um so for that reason you have to consider it in the b tier next on the list we're gonna go with peerless infusion oh boy peerless infusion where are we ranking the peerless infusion so prestige wise it's i mean slightly better than ghostly i guess because uh, you get it from raid wing uh, i believe like what uh, six or seven right it's it's from kadeem right you get it only from kadeem um kadeem the peerless so it's slightly more prestigious than this but at the same time it's i'd say alone it's actually better than when you try to mesh with other things because it, it could work with the crystal infusion it can actually work with a chalk egg sack it could work well with I believe uh, the mystic because like the white color can help with the uh, difference of contrast i think the problem is people like tend to not know how to use it yeah i do agree i think people sometimes don't tend to use it well if i'm being honest i've seen people incorporate this more better um, uh, much better than they would incorporate this so it's it's definitely in the b tier it should stay in the b tier maybe ahead of ghostly or maybe not yet we'll see i think it still should be b tier I must have seen it's not used well. I think I've seen I've seen it used pretty well actually. Um, I'm sure there's people who don't use it well, but I think I've seen enough people use it well. I, I think I'll put a B tier, uh, and if I change my mind later, we can come back to it. Jormag Eye Infusion. Uh, Jormag Eye Infusion. It's certainly a bit more prestigious than these two, but if I'm being honest, alone they don't really work well and like you really need to plan the helmets accordingly to make this look work and it's very frustrating and if you try to mesh it with other infusions like it really doesn't stand out entirely like um like if you try to mess it with a mystic infusion it kind of doesn't really help <sighs> why would i put dromag eye infusion like it could enhance something like the delgem or stone skin infusion right because if you put it with the frost legion it, it's the same color it would lose its reason right and if you put it with abyssal infusion it definitely works well because like there's some sort of difference 
Uh, so it works well with like much darker infusions than it would with like lighter ones simply because it is a very uh uh what's it called bright infusion yes yeah, so you can actually mix and match the both eyes with that infusion so you can mix and match the jormag and the primordis in whichever eye that you want to use uh which could make for some interesting thing because like right now we only have the like eye masks in and the glint masks in the gem store so there is a bit i guess of freedom in how you want to pair this this is what i think i think it's just basically like they, they took the two eye masks or the eye and uh, eye uh, head pieces that we have in the gem store and they decided let's make these into infusions for these two dragons yeah maybe b tier uh because of the fact that you can play around with the the looks because of the abyssal the deldramore um and even ember infusion in a way because it's two different colors for the jormag one celestial as well and then snow diamond can kind of enhance it a bit more because it's not very like in your face but with the frost legion it's already an infusion that's in your face so it just doesn't work with this yeah i think i, I think yeah it could be here front of the pack and b tier i no, you can't yes you can match the infusion with one of the eye patch maybe yes yes you can yes because the eye patch is a mask and this is an infusion yes you can I, i'm okay with that with that being said deljamore stone skin infusion it's not too bad of an infusion though right if you think about it it's not too bad of an infusion you can mix and match it with again like we just said the jormag eye or even the primordus eye you you could maybe i mean the peerless honestly wouldn't look good with this but i mean because this is like a dark gray color this kind of pops out more does it mix with enough things though to warrant it being in the b tier you know what i don't think it does actually like it just has like maybe these two going for it maybe the ghostly infusion but yeah you know what this might be the first d tier that i give yeah it's it, it to me this infusion is good as a complement to other infusions but not where you should base your look about i would put it in the d tier yeah with frost leg uh, your armor only turns to stone oh that's interesting yeah you know what i, I would still say it's d tier um it's maybe one of the lesser ones in the pack not many people even like use this infusion so it already drops a lot and just it's in fact, not, even with the fact that it's easy to get, not many people in, in fact use it. Uh, it looks good on Char with Demon Wings. It makes you look like one of them spooky stone statues. Oh, that's actually some pretty interesting things. Um, it's it's like, it's a thing where like, it, it works well with like two infusions, right? Very well, might I add. And the ghostly as well, it's not too bad. I I, I don't know if it makes or breaks it though. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with D. With that being said, um, what are we going to do with the polys? I'll do them all together. So we'll, we'll ignore that for now winter's heart infusion where are we putting the winter's heart infusion hmm winter's heart infusion i think i think it's a d tier or a c tier no sorry um i was gonna say b uh i'm gonna say like more more like a b tier and so the reason why is because i actually think the snow diamond is slightly better than this one um and the winter's heart is a very subtle effect you know it, it has that subtle effect prestige is okay like it's it's uh kind of rare to get since it's only tied to an, uh, a festival but i would say it's a very good supplement on its own it's actually meh like as an infusion on its own it really isn't really that good i mean maybe you can make a look that could work with it but i think it's very good when you enhance it with something so like we have a winter's heart you can put it on top of like maybe a mystic infusion you put it in top of a uh maybe a ghostly to give it like a bit of that like uh you know chilling uh, effect maybe you put it with your celestial maybe your abyssal uh, actually i don't know how it would look like with abyssal but i think it's an infusion that's like an enhancement infusion i'm oh, sorry it drops from the car sorry yeah my bad it drops from the car it's a combo infusion for sure yeah it's, it's something that you match and you mix and match with something else that's already there i don't think that's too bad uh, but then the fact that it doesn't work on its own i think c tier is where it, i would warrant it it's a good infusion don't get me wrong but i think the fact that like it, it just doesn't work well alone it doesn't work well alone and you need it to be as an enhancement to other infusions is kind of like eh the job is down like back i will say like the prestige of the fact that it is good it, it is dropped from jakar and yeah you do this is why i was mixing it with festival because like you can get it from the bags i would say c tier uh it turns hair blue yeah i mean you can somewhat play around with it a hairstylist could do that though um I, I don't know if you have the exact same shade but like you can you know work it out i think c tier i may change it we'll see when where we'll see where all the other stuff uh on the list uh end up being at okay celestial blue infusion where are we putting the celestial blue infusion uh this is an interesting one to compare because if you compare it to the frost legion infusion they're kind of similar 
Uh, one just is, you know, much brighter than the other, I find them. The Celestial Infusion is actually a very good enhancement to your Mystic Infusion. Because the Mystic Infusion is more of like a outline on your character, right? And if you have like, um, like for example, on my Char, my Char uh, skin color is black. And it make and the Infusion pops out more on the Mystic. The mystic, mystic Infusion will pop out more because of the shade that I chose for my character, my Char. Uh, on humans, though, uh, it, it's more of like just an outline. That's what it is. Just an outline. Your eyes turn white. I think it's a good enhancement, though. Uh, it, it, it is a good enhancement for the Celestial. So this Celestial gets really paired well with the Mystic. The Celestial can be very well paired with a Ghostly. I guess you could... Jormag is eh, okay. But like, you know, you can maybe get creative with having another color with the Primordus. I would definitely say it's a B. Yeah. A, a, you know, more like here, actually, B. Ahead of the pack. Speaking of which... Were we ranking the Frost Legion? Because this is kind of the same infusion. Just a bit more, uh, you know, uh, brighter. Like, it's a brighter blue infusion. Would you say the Frost Legion is also in the same? Because, like, they, they're kind of the same. I, I don't really find too much of a difference from these two. You guys think it's a bit better? I mean, for me, prestige-wise, Frost Legion is definitely a bit more up there. Um, wait, is it actually? Wait, no. Is, is it more? Because the Celestial drops from... Uh, it definitely, it's definitely more prestigious. Yeah, no, wait, wait. Yeah, it is definitely more prestigious. It's pretty much... It does the same as this, but it's just more prestigious. So you know what? By that basis, if it's almost as similar as this, but a bit more prestigious, and the fact that these two just have the similar ideas of what you can mesh them with, and this is slightly more prestigious, so therefore this should definitely be on the A tier. Yeah. Yeah, A tier. We're going to go with A tier with this. I, I think I'll go with A, because it's kind of... The, you know, there's a very small difference in their shade, um, but because this is slightly more prestigious, I, I put it in the A tier. Where are we putting... Uh, Toy Shell. Uh, toy Shell, honestly, I'll just put a D tier. This is a very shitty infusion. In fact, maybe it deserves to be in the F tier. Maybe the maybe the only thing that goes in the F tier is F tier. The Bram tier. Yeah, it goes in the Bram tier. There's one more infusion that probably could go, could go down there. Do we have any other infusion that could go down in the F tier? Ember? Actually, Ember is not too bad. Ember? Okay, so for me, Ember can be done in a cool way like it can mesh well with the jormag obviously because like it's it's the same kind of fire fiery look right it's a molten core look prestige i mean it's only offered up in uh mad in mad you know during the winter the halloween sorry uh halloween uh, festival so let's see alone actually i think it's not bad but if you combine it with other infusion there's very limiting things like you can combine it with the liquid aurelium you can combine it with um, maybe like a mystic confusion where like it will just take a bit of the outline and then your eyes just turn into like white. But there's actually very little room to actually do anything with it. Like this infusion is very good on its own, but it's hard to actually like balance with other infusions. It's a very difficult one to balance with other infusions. It's definitely hard to use. Like I've seen people who've managed to make it work, but it's definitely very difficult. I would probably say it's a C tier. Uh, it's like one of those infusions that works well on its own. Very difficult to master with like meshing it with something else. I would say C tier because it's still pretty good. Like the, it has prestige. Um, alone, it's still okay, I think. And there's a few things maybe you can make work with it. But uh, yeah, I, I think C tier. Okay, where are we ranking the Primordus infusion? I think... Primordus Infusion probably just goes around in, in in the same tier as the Jormag one. I, I actually like the Jormag one better, so... And I think there's more that you could do with the Jormag one, so I think I'll rank it slightly behind. But I think they're both in the same tier. All right, let's do the next one. Let's do the uh, Polyluminescent Infusions. All the polys in one go. Let's get all of these out in one go. Let's start with... The black one, polyluminescent black. Honestly, the, to me, these are D tier. Um, I feel like they're D tier, all of them. Like maybe one of them is C tier. Like the ones that I would think are C tier are like to me, like the poly purple and the poly red are good enhancers. They're not a main infusion. They're very good enhancements to other infusions. It can be S tier if you mesh it right. Yes, it depends. Um, alone, they're not. You know, they're kind of just. Eh, you know, alone. They're not too bad alone, but like that depends what armor you're using. Uh, it depends what like looks you're using with dyes. Uh, if you if you can balance them out to like 
enhance other infusions you can make it work very well actually um I think the red one is the one that can really work well with most of them. So maybe the red one goes up in the A tier or maybe the S tier actually. You know what? Should we say S tier for red and even purple too? I've seen people mesh purple. I think I'm okay with these being in the S tier. The black one, I don't know. Either C tier or D tier. The orange one, you can kind of mesh with. You can kind of mesh with like the Abyssal Infusion. You can actually make them work. All, all of these can actually work with the Abyssal Infusion. They can work with Mystic as well, in a sense, but it's not too good. Orange is the Conor Enhancer. It is the Conor Enhancer. I mean, if they're Enhancers, I think that's what they are, right? Uh, nothing against them, but yeah, how am I going to do this? Because these are also Enhancers. Should them being Enhancers be enough to get them up in the tier? That's the question, right? Like, how will they mesh with other infusions? Should that give them quite the edge to get up in the tier? Or because the prestige and them being alone is kind of like already down so that's already like two categories where they're not performing well is that one category where they're just very good at enhancing the other is it enough to warrant them being high up in the s tier that's what i'm trying to think yeah yeah i'm gonna put these in the c tier they're all c tier they're good enhancements but that's that's the problem their enhancements is what they are at that point it's just take it or leave it right and that's not in it that's to say that they're not bad it's just that they aren't good enough to be uh, on their own they have to basically add on to another infusion they're not a infusion you'd base your entire look on it can happen not to say that it can't happen but for the most part they enhance something else yeah yeah i think i'll go with that they're all c tier next we're gonna go with the uh, unstable bobble infusion where are we going with that one the red and the blue they're both you know kind of the same i think i'm putting these in the f tier they look like a you know the the miss the, the the unstable bobble infusions they look like a discount chalk infusion right like if you asked your mom mom can i have a chalk infusion and your mom was like we have a chalk infusion at home the unstable bobble infusion is your chalk at home they're just f tier both of you get over here the only thing they have going for them, yes, is they are hard to get. But if they're not good enough in the other two categories on their own as well as, it, as, it, as, as is, if they're already not good on the other two categories, that significantly ranks them down, right? Like these are very good enhancements, right? But it just wasn't enough to get them in the S tier, right? It's just as simple as is, right? Draw Mag one as well, like Prestige is there, um, works well with others, works well alone, but not enough to get to the s tier even if it was like prestige alone as well they are rare i mean but if i was basing this based on how rng was and that was the only category that i have to take seriously not counting well is it good enough as an infusion right because at the end of the day like if you can't mesh it well if it doesn't look good it doesn't look good if i was basing this based on rarity then heart of the con ur would be a tier on its own confetti would be a tier on its own chalk would be a tier on its own just because like yeah they're they're hard to get and that's the only not i don't think the prestige in itself can just save these infusions absolutely not i think the other two categories need to be at somewhat of a, a good stance to bring down uh the uh the other category or in a sense like you know like i'm not gonna say prestige is the only category that is like you know there's 10 points for prestige three points if it's uh, an infusion on its own three points if you can mix the infusion and mix and match with something else it's not how it is this is a video where i have three categories and i need to stick to a criteria to three categories as much as i can that is the way to go where are we gonna rank the abyssal infusion so this one you can actually base a lot of like infusions into this one because the abyssal infusion like you can get like the Jormag and primordial eyes to enhance that infusion you can make it work with the polys. You can make it work with the ember, actually, but it doesn't really do much. It just makes you look darker. But at the same time, it's hard to actually see anything. So, like, the fact that all the enhancers that I listed for the Abyssal are basically, like, bright colors that would only make it look better. Is that a good reason for it being... I don't know. Alone, it's kind of meh. And then with enhancers, it, it, it with other infusions, it kind of somewhat gets a bit better. And then you have like the prestige it's, it's not the most prestigious one to get but it is there you get it from fractals um okay abyssal infusion mm, 
it does overpower a lot it's actually very overpowering the fact that the infusions the items that work well with it are the ones that are have to be just as bright just to make sure like this color comes out okay i will put it in d tier simply because you can make something work out of it something can be done with this so not entirely that bad it's just a bit mess visually i do agree with that yeah i think d tier because somewhat some of them can work but it's more of it's just too overpowering as an infusion that's the issue that people have with it okay uh celestial infusion red where am i putting the celestial infusion red because we put the blue in the b tier does the red have the same because the red alone is not bad the red uh, with other infusions blue is definitely better than red yeah that's that's not that's not up to this i mean that's i guess you could compare but i think yeah blue generally works better where am i putting it though i think it could still be i think it's, it's gonna be b tier but uh maybe like here okay okay let, let, let's think of this what, what can you actually mesh well with celestial red can you do the peerless i think the peerless doesn't isn't that bad looking i guess peerless is definitely like not bad looking with the celestial red can you mesh it well with liquid aurelium kinda sure liquid aurelium kind of goes with everything in a way could it work with the mystic infusion i think so actually better than the blue actually it could work with the mystic infusion i think we could do b tier for both they could both be in the b tier uh and i guess you could make the argument one of them is ahead of the other like you know like yeah sure like they, one of them whatever for you you think is preference but i think b tier for celestial dread depends how you use it yeah this is also like or i'm saying like how you mesh it with other infusions is gonna be a factor in this okay what are we doing with the snow diamond infusion i think the snow diamond infusion should be where are we putting the snow diamond i might put this okay prestige wise snow diamond drops from what again what, what does snow diamond drop from a oh, gift okay uh is that all you can get it from okay okay so it's not that prestigious it goes for like what three 300 ish gold so it's, it's it's okay uh it is kind of rare actually it's kind of rare but uh not as expensive um alone as an infusion it's actually not bad alone if you think about it oh yes you can't get it from there at this moment as an infusion alone it's actually not bad not too bad mixing it with other infusions is tricky because it is one of those like you can mesh it with ghostly you can mesh it with winter's heart i believe you can mesh it with you could actually mesh it up with like these polys liquid aurelium frost legion as well yeah you know what i think snow diamond probably can be in the a tier it actually can go well with a lot of infusions it can go well alone it may not be the most prestigious but i think because of the other two categories it works well enough that it lands it in the a tier the other two categories it's very strong in. it's very strong in, in being a, as a standalone and it's very good with meshing it with other infusions um jormag yeah yeah i think yeah it can be in the a tier i'm gonna stick with that a tier prestige knocks it down a peg but i think in the a tier it still makes up with the other two categories okay uh mystic infusion oh this is mystic infusion definitely a or s tier you can as an infusion alone it's it's okay like it, it's not too bad but and by the way like the amount of ectos gamble to get this infusion are difficult it, it's it's gone through and bled through like i think enko burnt like hundreds of stacks of ectos to get mystics but yeah yeah prestige wise is there alone it's maybe not the best but when you mesh it with other infusions this is an a very good enhancement infusion and it's not too bad on its own i actually i have it on its own and i have something else enhancing my mystic i think this is an s tier it's s tier it's definitely like there's there's so many and if you don't think it is s tier just go and watch the people who've managed to make amazing looks out of this yeah s tier i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with s tier i think that's okay crystal infusion where are we ranking crystal infusion crystal infusion you can get it from death branded shatterer in jahai it's quite rare alone as an infusion it's honestly not too bad you can brand you, you could do a lot of branded looks with this infusion alone it actually works well with other infusions you can use some of these to enhance the outline you can use the mystic with it you can use peerless you can also use the chalk infusion with this oh this and chalk are actually a good combination too i would honestly i think there's a lot of looks you can do with crystal i would put it in the s tier crystal definitely goes up in the s tier okay uh let's go with liquid aurelium infusion 
Liquid Aurelium. So this one you get from Octavine uh, meta event. So it's difficult to get. Alone as an infusion, it's okay. Um, you know, it gives you like a gold aura like effect around your character. It comes and goes. Yeah, if it, if it's multiple infusions, it can definitely go up in the S tier. I actually feel like this is more of just an enhancement infusion though. As much as I like this infusion, it's more of an enhancement to me. And it, it can work well if you mesh it with other infusions. Like to me, Liquid and Queen B go very well together because they're very similar. Uh, Liquid and, um, and Mystic can go very hand in hand. Uh, it could go very well with the, the chalk in a way. It's like a very subtle touch with the chalk. Uh, could go well with the heart of the Condor. Uh, although it's harder to notice, but it, it works. But the thing is, I don't know honestly if I would give it the S, uh, S. Would I give it S tier? Actually, yeah. You know what? I will give it S tier. I will, I will give it the S tier, and only because the next infusion I don't think is the S tier, which is the Queen Bee infusion. As much as the Queen Bee is prestigious, it's in the Silver Waste. It's in actually wait, this is the first infusion. Why did I say ghostly? This is the first infusion. Queen Bee is prestigious. It is okay on its own. It can work well with other infusions, but I don't think as much as you would think of with Liquid Iridium. Like Queen Bee would work well with um, very few infusions. Actually, it's it's not the best. If you have the right fashion look with it, it, it it's probably like gonna be up there alone on its look alone. You can enhance it with let's see. Usually it's paired with chalk infusion, but it, to be honest, they all don't always pair well together. I guess kind of because like you have like these, uh, you know, um, particle, uh, pur purple particles from chalk. And then like you have the queen bee, queen bees around you. So kind of pairs well just because of the looks. The trail definitely is fun. Mm. You can pair up with heart of the Connor as well. It's subtle, but it's it's not too bad. There is the def death effect. Yes. Yeah, so if you die, like you will have um, bees around you uh, or like like they will pop up and like they'll just like honeycombs basically. Okay. Yeah. You know what? It's an S tier, but I think behind the liquid really in the S tier, in my opinion. Okay. Confetti infusion. So prestige. You can only get this infusion from the Pinata Choya. It's pretty rare. Alone as an infusion, it's okay. With others, it's actually ob obnoxious. I think this Festival Confetti, I think, is a B tier. Uh, you know, like I, I like the infusion, but it honestly cannot be paired very well with a lot of other things. And alone, it's probably fun. Like if you if you do a lot of festival, like if you uh, equip a lot of them, it can have like a nice, uh, huge confetti effect. But it just doesn't mesh well with a lot of things. It, it's just, it's very out of place. It is very out of place as an infusion. The only thing that makes it look good is because like, it's kind of unique. It's a confetti around you. And, and if you stack multiple of them, it works well. Yeah, you have to use stuff like to make it look good. Uh, like like the quip, for example, it goes well with the quip. I think it's either a B or an A. I, I think it's behind these two. I don't think it's prestige is enough to get it up there. I think it's a B. I'm sorry. I'm going to take that take. I'm going to say that and it's a B tier infusion. Okay. Where are we ranking the chalk infusion? Where is the chalk infusion being ranked? So chalk, we have prestige. You can only get it from the chalk Garant. It's still very difficult to get in the game. Alone as an infusion, it's it's not too bad. It also has a death animation. You have like dancing chalks that dance when you die. And you also have... It actually meshes well with other infusions. You could... Mesh it well with the liquid aurelium. It has a very fun effect with the queen bee. It can go well with the crystal. It could go well with the celly red, I think, more than the blue, the celly red. You could definitely pair it with any of the, uh, with the Jormag eyes, um, simply because like it's just particle effect. So it's easy to actually compare them with other things. The peerless infusion that goes well with uh, poly purple, poly red. It's a pretty good, yeah, yeah. Chalk infusion is pretty much known for being the baron infusion i rank it baron that's what i rank it yes baron if you want to be a baron you need to have yourself a chalk i mean okay okay if, I, if i'm like not memeing for a sec here um it's it's an s tier i think it's an s tier um because it can, it, it can actually be paired well with all other infusions it can hold its own it's very prestigious in fact if you could say most prestigious even though it's it's uh less prestigious than the heart of the Connor. people associate this with the barons which brings me to my next infusion the heart of the Connor. last but not least heart of the Connor. where are we ranking heart of the Connor? 
Oh boy. So this can only be got, uh, acquired through the meta that is the, the Grothmar Valley meta after like an hour of doing it. It is definitely hard to work with, but if, you know, funny enough, I've seen people make it work on its own. It's very good. You can pair it up with uh, Jormag. Sorry, not Jormag. You can pair it up with a Primordus. You could pair it up with uh, Mystic for the outline. You could pair it up with Liquid Aurelium. You could pair it up with... Actually, no, I don't think you can... Can you pair it up with a Mystic? I don't know because they're both skin infusions. Mm, I don't think you can do that. No, you can't pair them up together. So, you, no, you cannot pair them up together. So, no. Uh, so... It can be paired up with Liquid Aurelium. I don't want to say Chalk because it doesn't actually make sense to go with Chalk. It depends on what you do with your armor set, so maybe sure. Uh, you can pair them up with uh, the Primordus. You can pair it up with... You really can't do much with the Conor on it. Like, it's more of like, how can you create your fashion to match the Conor? There's maybe like, it's three four infusions at most which from what i listed and it's very not really that good yeah it, it's like it's very good on its own and if you can make your fashion wars look with it on its own it's okay but with the other infusions it just doesn't mesh well not too many infusions it can work with but it is prestigious and you cannot discount the fact that it's prestigious so i would think it's still in the s tier with all of that being said s tier or a tier mm, i think yeah it, it's s tier it's S tier. I think because on its own, it works. It's one of those infusions where on its own, it probably has a lot of creativity, to be honest. You just have to be fi find out how to make make it work. But it, it, there is a lot of creativity there. I don't think it meshes well too much with other infusions. Like, there's a few that you can mesh it well, but it's okay. But then because of its prestige as well, it should be in the S tier. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I think the crystal should probably be ahead of it. The crystal has way more options than this does. So S tier, but behind the crystal. That's my pick, chat. That is it. Okay, chat, you know what? That's it. I'm happy with that. That is my tier list for the cosmetic infusions based on prestige, based on how well the infusion is by itself, and how well can it mesh with other infusions, mixing and matching. I think I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm going to make any changes. Uh, might be the only one that I have not made any changes after I've finished reviewing it. But that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, chat. So, yeah, that's my tier list for cosmetic infusions of Guild Wars 2. We ranked them based on prestige of the infusions how well are the infusions together and how well are the infusions alone so three categories there prestige how well are they by themselves and how well can the infusion be mixed and matched with other infusions of course if they are being uh, discussed alone that also factors into account the fashion wars uh, that's my tier list i believe the chalk infusion is the barren infusion tier it is the one that is most associated with prestige and richness and everything it is also not not too bad in terms of mixing and matching with other infusions and on its own the s tier we had quite a few things but i think crystal infusion slightly is better than the heart of the conure because there's way more things you can do uh with the crystal than you can with the heart of the conure conure in itself prestige made it get there and of course as an infusion on its own there's a lot of work there that can be done uh mystic is a very good enhancement infusion and it's pretty rare as well and that alone made it sure it got its way there. Same with the Liquid Aurelium. Uh, Queen Bee as well. Um, and in the A tier and B tier were some very good infusions. That I just felt like just maybe lacked a bit of either prestige or were very limited in terms of what they could do by themselves. Or if they were like mixed and matched with others. For example, the Confetti, where it's very prestigious, is not a very good infusion to mix and match with a lot of other things. So it's why it's in the B tier. So that's that's my tier list um at the bottom here we got the toy shell and the bobble infusions d tier we got these over here and um yeah that's my list let me know what you think in the comment section if you want to put your own tier list put your own tier list out of all these 30 infusions in the comment section below comment whatever your tier list is going to be curious to see that if you enjoyed the content subscribe if you want to catch us on uh live when we're doing these tier lists we're doing them every wednesday on twitch.tv forward slash guild mm if you want to tune into my stream you can watch it on the stream we stream every tuesdays wednesdays fridays saturdays at 12 p.m est and i stream sundays twice a month give or take um but yeah if you want to catch me on stream doing the tier lists live you can watch it every wednesday um but that's it that's my tier list let me know what your tier list what you think of this in the comment below or put your own tier list in the comments below like subscribe to the video for more content and yeah i will see you when i see you take care youtube